Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Fairy tales have been the main subject here on TCM this evening. Next, we continue with the story that celebrates a man who created some of the world's most famous fairy tales, the Danish-born writer Hans Christian Andersen. That's also the title of the movie. It's a musical from 1952, lavishly produced by Samuel Goldwyn and with Danny Kaye in the title role. Now, it's not so much a biography as it is a Hollywood interpretation of the man who so delighted generations of children with his tales such as The Ugly Duckling and The Little Mermaid. Now, Danny Kaye's co-stars in the film are Zizi Jean Mayer and Farley Granger. Zizi, the fireball lead ballerina with France's Les Ballets de champs Elysees, who at the time had become an international sensation in a ballet version of Carmen, choreographed by her husband, Roland Petit. And Petit not only choreographed her dancing in this movie, but he's in the film as well, as her partner in a ballet episode from The Little Mermaid. For Farley Granger, he plays the ballet master in the movie, and this was Farley one year after he made the film he's most famous for today, Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train. Now, the songs in the movie are the all by the esteemed Frank Lesser. The movie itself is one that Sam Goldman had been wanting to make for years, even before he'd put Danny Kaye under contract in the early 1940s. It was in 1938 that Goldman got that idea. What always got in the way, though, was trying to find writers to create the right screenplay. Dozens of writers tried to come up with a ballad approach, but Golden was never satisfied with what he was given until he found one done by the great Moss Hart. After Golden read it, he felt it had been well worth the long wait and the struggle. The movie became Golden's third biggest grossing film ever, right behind the best years of our lives and Guys and Dolls. And so here it is in dazzling Technicolor with a ballet sequence included Thanks to the great success of the ballet sequence in Gene Kelly's An American in Paris, just the year before. That ballet sequence, and also the one done in the 1948 film The Red Shoes, starting a trend in Hollywood, which made it seem a necessity to include a rather lengthy dancing or singing sequence in every movie musical made. From 1952, here's a lavishly made fairy tale about the master writer of fairy tales. Here's Hans Christian Andersen. Thank you. 